Hi, Bahashim Kakadash. Double honor to the elders and prophets. Great millstone, peace and blessings to the elect. This is your brother Tezara Allah. And I got one more thing to say about my name, and I think I'm done with it. So turns out that I believe it was Tezara means adversary and not affliction. So I'm ascending my adversaries, which is parallel to ascending affliction. So it's the same side of the coin, Tezerai Law. I love it. I'm still keeping it. Just have to clarify that for anyone listening. And call halal means all praises too. All right, this lesson will be diving into circumcision and uncircumcision. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been up all night. I may sound a little tired. So basically... One of the main deceptions that Esau Edom, Evil E, Sleazy E, has done is that he made white man Jesus, Caesar Borgia, whatever else Edomite they use. They When they made that, they would say that the Gentiles or whatever may else that are being grafted in are the other nations. When in reality, those are the lost sheep of Israel that were scattered into other nations, specifically Greece and Rome. Because those are the two nations that afflicted us the most. Like how it says in Genesis, Esau will go after his brother Jacob with the sword. And I'm going to go into how I can, you know, dive into the scriptures to prove what I'm talking about. And first, I'm going to hit up, probably, I'm going to go to Psalm, excuse me, hit up the book of Psalms, <coughs> excuse me, All right, Psalms 106, I'm going to start at 35. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. So the Israelites went in with the other nations and was doing what the other nations were doing. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils. <clears throat> So as you see right there, the Israelites were following the way of the other he heathen. And I'm just going to go to Psalms 106 and 45. And he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. Yeah, man. The Israelites have a covenant with Yahweh. The first covenant broke. Second covenant where the Israelites will become immortals and won't be able to sin anymore. And let me hit up Colossians. Woo! Need to wake myself up, man. Can't be can't be um all draggy and stuff, man. Colossians 1, let me just start from the top. Colossians 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, by the will of Yahweh, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints, which are the Israelites, and faithful brethren of Mashiach, which are at Coloss, 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 
Excuse me if I'm butchering that. Grace be unto you in peace from Yahweh thy power, our Father in the Lord, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. So, all these books, Ephesians, the Church of Ephesians, and Rome, and Colossians, and all those, were for the Israelites in those areas, okay? The saints, to the saints, the saints are the Israelites. Let me, let me just hit that up for you. Let me see. Excuse me, excuse me, give me a second. Oh, I believe it's Psalms 137. Excuse me, Psalms 138. Psalms 148, 14. He also exalt the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So the saints are only the Israelites. So who who are all those books written to? Colossians, Ephesians, Rome. Who are they, those written to? The saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Let me just keep going into it deeper, all right? This is just the tip of the iceberg. First Corinthians 12, I'm going to start from the top. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Excuse me. So as you read right there, it says you were Gentiles and you were carried away into these dumb idols like we just read in Psalms, I believe. That the Israelites were believing in the, the the idols of the heathen, okay? Even as ye were led, so they were led to be Gentiles, all right? When you hear Gentiles, it has two meanings. An actual born Gentile, like a Moabite or an Ethiopian, or an Israelite that grew up with their customs, okay? They didn't grow up, they don't have the circumcision. Circumcised means you follow the law, you keep the law. Uncircumcision means you're not keeping the law, all right? Let me just keep diving deeper. Gotta keep diving. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, icebergs look real small at the tip. Go under the water. They 10 times, 20, si 20 times the size, man. This is this is where I'm at right now. So those... Um, All right, scroll down. Romans 2 and 25. For circumcision verily profiteth, if thou keep the law, but if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. So who is the law given? Only people that are under the law are the Israelites, man. So those are the only people that can break the law. All right? Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his circumcision be counted for circumcision? And shall not uncircumcision, be, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee, who by the, the letter and circumcision does transgress the law? For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the, the letter, whose praise is not of him, but of Yahweh. You read that, man? It's, it's, it's simple. But the plantation Christianity just got people completely gone, and you bring it out, and then they just get cut, you know? They don't want to hear it. They don't want to deal with it, man. 
Colossians 2. And I'm going to uh, go down to Colossians 2. Colossians 2 and 11. In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, and putting on the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Yamashiach. Oh, it's, 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 it, people, people say, "Oh, you're interpreting it wrong." No, it's plain as day, man. And the parables, you won't get the parables because those those are only given to the saints, to the the prophets, to the elect. And you heathen, man, you're 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 gonna be preserved, all right. Some of the heathen gonna survive, all right, for what's coming, so they can just be shackled up. I believe their first duty as slaves is to clean up all the dead bodies, man. That's their first duty. Let me hit up Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now, Israel, what do that Yahweh thy power require of thee? But to fear Yahweh thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahweh thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of Yahweh and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heavens and the heaven of the heavens is the is Yahweh's thy power. The earth is also with all that therein is. Yahweh controls everything and anything, man. Only, only Yahweh had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. So ain't none changed, man. The Israelites are with Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? And we're always going to be that. And nobody's going to take it. He didn't forsake us. Excuse me. Yahweh, thy power, our power. Yasharallah's power is still here and it's always going to be here forever and ever. Deuteronomy 10 and 16. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be no more stiff necked. For Yahweh, your power is the power of powers and Lord of lords, a great power, a mighty and terrible, which regardeth not persons, not taking reward. Woo, cut. Cut, man. You hefty nefty Christians are done. This gospel is out. Especially you Edomites, man. You're done. You, you they see it. They see it. They ain't they ain't dumb. They see it. Excuse me. I meant to go to Ephesians one. Go down to Ephesians, uh, Ephesians one and ten, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in the Mashiach, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Being predestined, predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Predestinated to be with Yahweh Shai when he comes back and becomes the king of kings, the lords of lords on earth, man. And we're going to, Lord willing, I'm part of that lake and you're listening part of that lake, man. You're going to be with Yahweh Shai. And whatever Yahweh Shai gets, you get it. He gets the uh, nations, you get the nation. We're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. It's, a, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Let me let me just keep going in on who these is who these uh Gentiles, man, that are getting uh grafted in. These are not heathens, man. These are lost Israelites. These are Israelites that are needed to be brought back to who they are. Acts eleven and 
I'm going to hit you with 16. Acts 11 and 16. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, Yahweh, how that he said. John and Dean baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with a uh, royal cockle For as much then has Yahweh gave them the like gift as he did unto us, who believed on Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, what was I, that I could withstand Yahweh? When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified Yahweh, saying, Then have Yahweh also to the Gentiles granted repentance of life. Go to the Christian church, and they just read that one scripture, maybe, and they'll be like, Yes, I'm not a Israel, I'm not a Jewish person, but I, I'm getting in there with them. Hooray. Or if they know the truth, they know who the real is. Like I seen this one Edomite man. I mean, who knows what she is? But she looked wicked, man. She looked like she looked like a whole witch. She knew we were the Israelites, and then she thought that the Gentiles were still the other nations. And she was like, "You see that verse? That's talking about. That's how she was talking. That's talking about me. I'm I'm gonna be with y'all." But she knew we were Israelites. But she didn't have the whole. She ain't eat the whole roll. She ain't eat that whole cake. You know. Um, Acts 11, I'm going to start, I'm going to read Acts 11 and 18 again. When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified Yahweh, saying, Then have Yahweh also to the Gentiles granted repentance of life. Acts 11 and 19. Now they which were scattered abroad, which were the Israelites scattered in all nations, upon the persecution that arose about Stephen, traveled as far as Phoenix and Cyprus. These are Greek lands. Greek territories, Greek cities, and Antioch, preaching the word, none but to the Jews only. Woo! <sighs> I can really just stop it right there, man, but got to keep going. It's out there, man. And this the end. This is the end. John 4. Hit up verse 21. John 4 and 21. Yahweh shall I said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship ye not know what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Woo! But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father Yahweh in his spirit and in truth. For Yah for the Father Yahweh seeketh such to worship him. Ooh boy. Man. This that this the sword, man. This the sword. This is the sword. Excuse me. Let me get another one. And man, I, I, I hear uh, too many people saying, um, like you see this one right here where it says, for salvation is, is of the Jews, John 4 and 21. You can read this to a bird brain and they'll say you're misinterpreting that. No comment, man. It's just no comment. And then especially people that so-called believe in the Bible. And then they throw away the, the New Testament and or the Apocrypha. I mean, not, excuse me, not the New Testament, the Old Testament and the Apocrypha. Man, through these, the two thirds of Israel, man, through. They're through, man. They, they're, it's, it's sad, but it just has to go, has to go about it. Let me hit up, uh. Matthew, Matthew 1, let me scroll to Matthew 1 and, Matthew 1 and 20, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is is of the real cockle dash, and she 
shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their, from their sins. For he shall save his people from their sins. Who is Yahweh Shai's people, man? All nations? Nope. The Israelites? Yep. Oh man, it's it's amazing, man. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's it's more than amazing. It's beautiful. Let me hit up Matthew ten. Matthew ten. Matthew ten and five. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and to any other city. Of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Woo! Man, you you love it. It's, it's, it's beautiful, man. Amos, excuse me. Amos three. Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So when you get, go into that, I'm preaching this and say someone else knows they're, they're Israelite, but they're saying that the other nations are uh, a part of the second covenant and they're going to be with us as immortals uh, controlling the nations. I mean, I don't, I, I can't, I don't know how they, they word it because I'm not into that, but just they're saying something completely, totally different than the truth of the the truth of the Bible, the true gospel, and um, you can't can't walk in agreements, man. I, I met a brother, man. I'm not gonna say who he is, whatever, and he was an Israelite too, but he believed in IUIC. He didn't believe the mark of the beast was uh the RFID microchip. I, I can't remember what he said it was. Whatever uh Bishop Nate is say Bishop Nate is saying. Is that and um he also said that the image of the beast is Caesar Borgia and I believe that is what IUIC believes in and quote me comment comment if you if you will if I'm wrong on that and and I asked him he the, what what made no sense to me is I I I seen one of the videos Bishop Nate saying there's not going to be a uh, Jacob's trouble I I remember seeing that he said like how um. How it was with Noah, and then when everything happens, we're just gonna be instantly uh beamed up, and it's all happy go lucky. He said there is not gonna be any more no trouble coming, and the brother, the Israelite who knew he was Israelite that followed Nate, he uh, disagreed with that. He knew it would be a Jacob's trouble, and then I asked him, all right, if you know your your leader is wrong, why are you still following them? Didn't even get a comment, didn't get a reply, a rebuttal. He just went hush mode, man. It just, it's just how it how it is out here, man. You can't do nothing about it. Let me hit up Romans 11. This is uh Paul. Yes, yes, this is Paul. Romans 11 and 1. I say then, have Yahweh cast away his people? Yahweh, thy power forbid. So Yahweh is still dealing with the Israelites. For I am also an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul was an Israelite, but guess what? Paul was also a Roman citizen. So Paul was a Roman, which goes into the Israelites being the other nations, okay? Like like the Israelites now, man. How did we get here? How how are we speaking um English and Spanish, man? How? Why do we have American customs, man? Why are we eating bacon? Why does the money have an all-seeing eye on it, man? Ask yourself these questions. Let me scroll down. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the elect, they get it. The elect get what I'm saying, man. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number, man. And I make it and see them chariots. The elect are going to get this. And the rest of the Israelites, man, you're not, you're, you're not, you're, you're not going to get it, man. You're not. And, um, 
But all of Israel will be saved, all right? The two-thirds that died, they will come back in the kingdom through the reincarnation cycle. Let me see what else I can get out of this. All right, perfect, perfect. Romans 11 and 19. Thou wilt say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou, and thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. So the Israelites that didn't believe, uncircumcised. For if Yahweh spared not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore the goodness and severity of Yahweh, thy power, on them which fail severity, but toward thee goodness, if thou continue in his goodness. Otherwise thou also shalt be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For Yahweh was able to graft them in again. Key word. Again, so if if uh if all these prophets, all right, are going and talking to Edomites, Moabites, Hamites, Ishmaelites, you know, uh, other nations that are not Israelites, going to them to graft them in again, how are they getting grafted in again if they weren't grafted in the first place, man? How? It's too, it's here a little, there a little, here a little, there a little. All right? You got to you gotta jump back and forth from the Bible, man. This is not in chronological order. You cannot take everything literal. It's in parables, man. You can't take everything literal. Let me hit up Romans 9. Romans 9 and 4. Romans 9 and 4. Who are Israelites to who pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh thy power and the promises? <laughs> Who's all, who are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh a Mashiach came? Who was over all. Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. Come on. Excuse me. It's clear as day, man. It's clear as day. It's overwhelming. It's, ooh, it's overwhelming, man. I'm going to end this off on here. I will be coming back with a part two. Excuse me. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakal Gadash. Rock Thy Yahweh. Rock Thy Yahweh Shai. Rock Thy Yahweh. Rock Thy Yahweh Shai. Rock Thy Yahweh. Rock Thy Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakal Gadash. Rock Thub. Double honor to the elders and apostles. A great millstone. Peace and blessing to the elect.